So my goal for you is I want you to go take me home and take me to about 2,000 feet and I want you to take me home to Twin Oaks. I'm not really going to help you as where to go. So I'd get your sectional out. How about Invisible traffic, Cessna 788 uniform, left down, moving away, 2-2, that's How about if I got this out? That'll work too. Okay, so here we go find, search, Seven S three. Oops. So we want to two. All right, cool. So a year of plane, and let's stay at two thousand feet, and we'll head on home. One seven West Coast traffic. So lower your nose first. Leave your power in. Trim this sucker down. Leave your power in. There you go. Trim her down. Trim, 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 push it down. Let yourself build some speed. And now we'll ease power back. That way we get on step, so to speak. Like a boat on the top of the plane of the water. Cool. Bindle traffic. Seven Mary Pie seven two two. Left downwind, runway two two Still Bindle. climbing. Oh, it makes a trim that sucker down. What's it say? Fly two six zero? Seven that's what you're going. You should go to go zero two four. Zero two four. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to keep going straight ahead towards the coast. Okay. Zero two four. Uh, right turn to zero two four. There you go. Think a little different than the 150, yeah? Huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, you could use it for the sectional purposes. Yeah. Which you were right about there, which this is the town of McMinnville, right there, yeah? And so it looks like we want to go just to the right, we want to go right towards the VOR, right? Yeah. So we know the VOR is halfway down that ridge, right? So there's the end of the ridge, which is right there. So let's go about 5 to 10 degrees to the right, basically right towards Adams. Okay. And that should lead you right to that new VOR. Oh, we got it back. Yeah. That's showing us where we're heading. Cool. And now we're kind of done with McMinnville, so we'll twist in 12305, which it looks like it's already in there. And you can just flip that over to the this one? Yep. Perfect. Cool. And we hit the ridge, we're five miles out. Yeah. Oh, well, five miles to the south, uh, or over the ridge. Big bug. Huh. Was is the operative was. Right One of my friends at work last night uh, oh. hit a duck. He hit a duck? Yeah. There's nothing left of the duck but a grease spot on the wing. And it dented the wing. Wow. All right. What, what, was, he, what was he flying? A jet. Yeah. <laughs> Poor duck had no idea what probably happened. Uh, maybe it's better that way. Flying along and splat. A jet hits you going 200 miles an hour. Wow. Your unlucky day. Yeah. So go ahead and head a little bit more to the right, right towards the Newberg VOR there. Here's our old school lesson for you. We've taken these out of all the 250s. This has a VOR indicator in it. You probably read about that in your books a little bit. But what you can tune in is 117.4, which yeah. is a Newberg VOR frequency. And what you do is you twist the uh, 
It's called a CDI, or a course deviation indicator. You twist that until it says two, and the needle lines up, and you fly whatever keeps that needle centered. So if you keep on this heading, the Here. needle's probably gonna drift off to the right a little bit, you see that? Yeah. But now you turn to the right, so turn to the right about 10 degrees, and you'll go get the needle back. So you always go towards the needle. Does that make sense? That's how you navigate with a VOR. Kind of different, huh? Go towards the needle. What, what needle are we talking about? This this needle going up and down. Okay. You see when I'm off, yeah. needle's deflected, so you go to the left to get onto that radial. Okay. But when it's in the center like that, just turn to the right a little bit more, about 10 degrees. We'll go to about a zero four five heading. Just like and that. It, and that puts you right over the VOR, is that the yep. idea? It takes you right to that VOR. Same thing this does too. Does the same thing. This is easier because it's it, it's a heading indicator mixed in with a uh, with the VOR. With the VOR. So you don't have to transpose this over to this. That tells you what? Um, class. What? Oh, sorry, so class C. Class C. Yeah, yeah, we're coming up where it says when you're within, when you're within 10 minutes of going into Portland's class C, it gives you a... If we keep going on this heading straight ahead, we'd go right into Portland's airspace. So, kind of a neat little memory aid. So there's Twin Oaks. You see it over to the left about your 11 o'clock? I believe so. It's airport shape, right? Yeah. So that's... The OR right there, that little cone. Little cone yeah, that's so you're about five miles to the south of Twin Oaks, and here's the trick, is I'd pull your power back to about 2,000 RPM right now, because you'll be there very quickly. Look at the for a downwind for one four right traffic morning. Oh, there you go. Uh, the the Turn it back just so you don't have a really steep drop there. There you go. Yeah, the truck is much more responsive in this it thing. It is, definitely. I'll be looking for that helicopter. So just tell them we're coming five yeah. to the south, inbound for a left upwind. For runway two. Okay. Twin Oaks traffic Cessna two one zero A Yankee. About five miles to the south for a left upwind on runway two. Twin Oaks. Now let's go to the right. Let's kind of sidestep over just like we normally do, and we'll go straight into that upwind. For okay. Twin Oaks uh, traffic system one forty two is so four miles north of uh, Twin Oaks. I'm going to set up on a long uh, downwind. I'm looking for the upwind traffic. Twin Oaks. Traffic time on the 465 in the home share, uh, 3 miles on 45 right downwind runway, round. I see it. Defending through 2000. Yeah, there is somebody there. Got a golf filter over the end of the runway. Uh, traffic RV4 runway vectors, uh, turning uh, left upwind, looking for the other traffic whereabouts are you? Uh, Twin Oaks traffic system 132 is, uh, 2.8 miles north, so uh, setting up on a long downwind runway uh, zero 02, uh, Twin Oaks. And you can say Cessna 210 Yankee generating left upwind for two upwind. will be number three. And I'm looking also. Twin Oaks traffic Cessna 210 Yankee on the left upwind for runway two and will be number three, Twin Oaks. So that guy, I don't know where he went. He just sort of disappeared. He didn't stop heading that way, but he was pretty far away for a yeah. Where's the number one track? Uh, should be on downwind by now. Remember, he was the one that said he'd be entering the long downwind. Yeah, I don't... From the north. He, but I don't know that RV was the one that asked everybody where the traffic was. I don't know where he went. Yeah, he traffic 172 on downwind, just approaching the, uh, the numbers, not quite midfield. So we don't care about that uh, guy. Uh, downwind, it's four runway vector. I've got you in sight. 
starting my turn to uh, to left crosswind. I'll be behind you. I see him. Okay, I you. see the crosswind. Okay, good. So just follow him. Uh, he's pretty high though. I don't think that's him. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. That's kind of weird. All right. All right so we're you're 1,200 feet, so we'll bump our power up a little. Now back up to our normal 2,300. Yeah, he's just high. Yeah, he's high. All right, just divide your attention. Look at the airport, look at the airplane. Look at yourself. Now you're wing tip to wing tip and he's faster than you anyway, okay. so you're good to turn. out of the white arc to see you can damage them if you put them in going fast. There you go, and now we'll get one more notch of flaps. We're already on 10. I know, you're going to need a... Whoa! Yeah, lower, raise your nose a little bit when you do that. It makes it real hard. Am I at 20 degrees here or no? you're at 10. There you go, good. Now we'll go ahead and make our turn to base, base here. There you go. Twin Oaks driving to zero Yankee left base for two Twin Oaks. Alright, divide your attention. Maybe we'll add just a little bit of power and keep your turn going. You want a square turn, not not this one. Well, four on my back to back to two. Light five. grip on that yoke, no death grip, man. No squeezing it. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and make four a nice turn to the left on the final. And we'll go ahead and add one more notch flaps. Push the button. Slow yourself down. Yeah, I'm about 80. Just think you're the master of this airplane. If the nose isn't going where you want it to, well, just make it. Don't, don't. Okay, now it's let seven. it go where it wants to. And now use your trim if you need it. If the nose really wants to drop, just trim the nose up a little bit. Okay. There you go. Good. Just and relaxed. I want to see your hands moving a little bit too, not just your feet. There you go. No app. Power. This is nice looking approach. And now we'll start inching the power back. All the way to I. Keep the head up, the call. Good. Okay. Uh, Money. That was the that was awesome. Awesome. That was a nice flare. That on the center line too. That one felt pretty good. Whoa man. You wanna park her or gas her? Uh we'll park it. We filled it before we went. Okay. We'll go next to five eight nine. Traffic set to 2108Y, clear runway 2, Twin Oaks. That flaps. Cool. Awesome, awesome man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job, today. You're, You're ready. ready to solo. We need to get you. Okay. I want you to go stay at the 150, just because you're used to that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Here's the here's the one thing that I'm gonna say about this airplane is your little like hour point three or however long we flew today. Yeah. Uh, this airplane's easier to fly than 150. Is it? It takes a little. You kind of got used to the the boost, but um, you picked it up real fast. I mean, you could go out and fly this no problem right now. You know. But you're right. I am a little more used to the how the the nuances of the 150. Yeah. Okay, let's go to, the, she wants us to the fuel pump, so okay. just pull down through your tie down and we'll go to our normal spot. Just pretend we're gonna lock we it keep down. Keep going, no, keep going. We're gonna pull through and then we'll, oh, okay. we'll go over to the... Uh, we'll go to the pump? The pump, sorry. Yeah. That girl keeps it running, man. <laughs> I don't know what your home life is like, but... We live out here, or in a <laughs> airliner. <laughs> is because you can finely, precisely twist this. You see that? It's yeah. called a vernier knob, but you can also push the button to move it as well. And then don't forget your uh, uh, regular master there. It won't make that noise. Awesome, man. Good job. Yeah, it was a fun day. Yeah. This is all I think about, man. <laughs> you know, it's all I think about nowadays. That's I just, good. I just want to get in there and fly and get better. Definitely. You're doing great.